Hey, it's me, your boy, Blue Getsuga, and today I'll be talking about the cards from the premium pack. Yeah, this is just going to be a little bit of filler, but... Yeah, this is just going to be a filler video, but... At the same time, there are things... Voice crack. There are things from this pack that I'm actually looking forward to. This... Not interested. This seems like indirect mermail support, and I don't exactly like mermails, so I'm not going to talk about her either. Here we have the new Ultra Geist monster, which I actually like a lot, although it's scary to actually face this thing down. Because during either play as battle phase, you can tribute one monster, one other monster, this card, I mean, assuming you can only tribute your own monsters, you can tribute one other monster, this card gains attack equal to that monster's attack. And that's permanent. So that's already pretty scary. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. And then it can make an additional attack, which is also really scary because this thing seems like it it can easily OTK you. And the third effect is if this card would be destroyed by both battle or by card effects, you can banish one monster from your graveyard instead, which is already really good. And if you're and if you're link summoning this thing, chances are you already have monsters in your graveyard you can banish. So that's really good. And one of the cards I'm looking forward to the most, because I really like Rose Dragons, is this card. If your opponent controls the monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, this card is traded as a tuner. So you can use this effect, special summon it, and then you can special summon Rose Witch, or no, not Rose Witch, Rose Fairy. Because technically you special summon the tuner monsters, and then this and Rose Fairy. You can go into your level 5, then you can use the level 5 synchro to actually search Black Rose Garden. And you can go off from there. Also, you can discard this card to add one White Rose Cloister from your deck to your hand. And the second effect is not a hard ones per turn, and I like that. Because some effects don't need to be hard ones per turns. Yet somehow Konami makes the abusable effects not a hard ones per turn. Anyways, we have the new field spell, White Rose Cloister. If you control no monsters, you can special summon one Rose Dragon monster or plant monster from your hand. During your draw phase, before you draw, you can declare one card type, monster, spell, or trap, reveal the top card of your deck, and if it's the type you declared, apply the following effect for the rest of the turn. Level 7 or higher synchro monsters, monsters, not just one, you control gain 1000 attack. This card is really decent and is a good one of in the deck. Anyways, that's all I would have to say about this. I mean, this video is honestly filler, but... But at least we got to talk about a cool new Ultra Guys card, and we got to talk about cool Black Rose cards. Or Black Rose support cards. Anyways. Bye.